हेलो दोस्तों आप सभी का स्वागत है अपने यूट्यूब चैनल मैथ्स बाय समित देशमुख पे आज हम सॉल्व कर रहे क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स ऑफ मिसलिनियस एक्सरसाइज ऑफ डिफरेंशिएशन सी इन दिस एग्जांपल वी हैव टू डिफरेंशिएट दिस फंक्शन टैन इनवर्स ऑफ अंडर रूट वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वन अपॉन एक्स विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टैन इनवर्स ऑफ टू एक्स इंटू अंडर रूट वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर अपॉन वन माइनस टू एक्स स्क्वायर सो हियर वी आर डिनोटिंग फर्स्ट फंक्शन बाई यू सो वॉट आर मे बी द फर्स्ट फंक्शन इज देर डिनोटेड बाई व्यू एंड दिस सेकेंड फंक्शन आई एम डिनोटिंग इट बाई वी नाउ ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज टू डिफरेंशिएट दिस फर्स्ट फंक्शन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस सेकेंड फंक्शन बट फर्स्ट फंक्शन वी हैव डिनोटेड बाई यू एंड दिस सेकेंड फंक्शन वी हैव डिनोटेड बाय वॉट वी अभी हमें ये फर्स्ट फंक्शन को डिफरेंशिएट करना है विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू सेकेंड बट फर्स्ट मीन्स नाउ यू एंड सेकेंड मीन्स वी मीन्स कैन आ से दैट वी हैव टू डिफरेंशिएट यू विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वी येस वी हैव टू डिफरेंशिएट फर्स्ट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू सेकेंड मीन्स वी हैव टू डिफरेंशिएट यू विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वी सो हियर वी कैन से दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड डी यू अपॉन डी वी मीन्स वी हैव टू डिफरेंशिएट यू विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वी now here we can observe that value of u is also in terms of x and v is also in terms of x means we can say that it is parametric function with parameter uh, with parameter x so first we are considering u u is equals to tan inverse of under root 1 plus x square minus 1 upon x so this is the value of u here easily we can observe that whenever 1 plus x square appears in the root such type of expression appears at that time what is our substitution we are substituting x is equal to tan theta so this function will become and even theta will become theta will be equals to tan inverse of x Uh, so here you will become tan inverse of now we are replacing x by tan theta so here we'll get 1 plus x square x square means tan square theta minus 1 upon x again x means what tan theta just simply we are substituting the value of x is equal to tan theta now tan inverse keep it as it is according to identity what is the value of 1 plus tan square theta will be equals to sec square theta according to identity minus 1 upon tan theta keep it as it is this is the value of uh, u now again we are simplifying it so which is equals to tan inverse keep it as it is sec square theta outside the root this sec square theta outside the root will become sec theta minus 1 upon tan theta keep it as it is so which is equal to tan inverse as it is now we are replacing the sec theta by 1 upon cos theta because we know that sec can be written as 1 upon cos minus 1 as it is and in the denominator tan can be replaced by sin theta upon cos theta isn't it so now we are multiplying to numerator and denominator by cos let us see what will get if we are multiplying to numerator by cos if i am multiplying to first term by cos cos and cos will get cancel we will get 1 if i am multiplying here by cos we will get cos theta since we are multiplying to numerator so multiply to denominator by cos cos and this cos will get cancel remaining term is what sin theta isn't it so now according to half angle formula in the numerator 1 plus cos 1 minus cos theta can be replaced by 2 sin square theta by 2 and in the denominator sin theta can be replaced by 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 according to half angle formula so which is equal to tan inverse keep it as it is here check that which terms will get cancel 2 2 will get cancel sin theta by 2 and one of the sin theta by 2 from square will get cancel so sin theta by 2 upon cos theta by 2 will be remaining term which is nothing but tan theta by 2 so which is equal to here according to property of inverse trigonometric function tan inverse and tan will get eliminate remaining term is theta by 2 keep this 1 by 2 as it is but what is our substitution that x is equal to tan theta is our substitution which implies that theta is equal to what tan inverse of x so i am replacing this uh, theta by tan inverse of x tan inverse of x this is nothing but value of u so which implies that its derivative du upon dx will be equals to 1 by 2 as it is what is derivative of tan inverse of x so its derivative is 1 upon 1 plus x square in this way we have got the derivative of u with respect to x that is 1 upon 2 into 1 plus x square 
So in the numerator 1 into 1 will be equals to 1 and in the denominator 2 into 1 plus x square is 2 into 1 plus x square. So this is first required value means derivative of u with respect to x. Now we are differentiating v with respect to x. So that's why we are considering v here. So and v will be equals to what is the value of v here tan inverse of 2x under root 1 minus x square and in the denominator 1 minus 2x square keep it as it is. Here easily we can observe that in the expression 1 minus x square appears in the root at that time our substitution is either x is equals to sin theta or x is equals to cos theta. Like in sin theta substitute karenge because denominator where 1 minus 2 sin square theta is the value of cos 2 theta. So that's why I am substituting x is equals to what sin theta which imp implies that theta is equal to sin inverse of x. So we will become tan inverse of here to keep it as it is x I am replacing by sin theta into under root 1 minus x means what sin theta so x square means sin square theta divided by 1 minus 2 sin square theta so which is equals to tan inverse keep it as it is 2 also as it is sin theta also as it is what is the value of 1 minus sin square theta will be equals to cos square theta cos square theta divided by in the denominator 1 minus 2 sin square theta is nothing but value of cos 2 theta according to double angle formula so in the numerator tan inverse keep it as it is again here 2 also as it is sin theta also as it is now this cos square theta outside the root will become cos theta isn't it and in the denominator cos 2 theta keep it as it is now observe the numerator 2 sin theta into cos theta is the value of 2 sin theta into cos theta is nothing but value of means this 2 sin theta into cos theta is the value of sin 2 theta according to double angle formula in the denominator cos 2 theta keep it as it is so which is equal to tan inverse of sin upon cos is equal to tan so sin 2 theta upon cos 2 theta is tan 2 theta now according to property of inverse trigonometric function tan and tan inverse will get eliminated remaining term is 2 theta so 2 keep it as it is now i am replacing theta what is our substitution x is equal to sin theta so theta is equal to sin inverse of x so therefore dv upon dx we are differentiating it with respect to x so to keep it as it is derivative of sine inverse of x is 1 upon under root 1 minus x square so derivative of u and v both are known to us so now we are finding our required value required value is du upon dv will be equals to now this du upon dx because here parameter is x divided by dv upon dx so now in the numerator we are substituting the value of du by dx which is nothing but 1 upon 2 1 plus x square and in the denominator dv upon dx this is the value of dv upon dx which is nothing but 2 upon under root 1 minus x square now observe here very carefully ye term divided hai agar multiply hongi to iska reciprocal honga reciprocal honga yani ye term aayengi numerator mein so what we are getting in the numerator now observe here very carefully in the numerator we are getting under root 1 minus x square or denominator mein honga ye do term ka multiplication that 2 into 2 is 4 into 1 plus x square and this is nothing but derivative of this function now see in the second example we have to differentiate this first function with respect to second function first function we have denoted by u and second function we have denoted by v means we have to differentiate u with respect to v so that's why here we can say that we have to find out derivative of u with respect to v here we can observe that value of u is also in terms of x and v is also in terms of x means we can say that here x is the parameter so first we have considered u and now we are differentiating or before dif differentiating since it is a logarithmic function before differentiating first let us simplify this function so under root 1 plus x square log of 1 plus x square plus x and in the denominator 
अंडर रूट वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस एक्स की पिटाजिटी जस्ट सिंपली आई एम मल्टीप्लाइंग बाय कॉन्जुगेट ऑफ डिनोमिनेटर सो वॉट इज कॉन्जुगेट ऑफ डिनोमिनेटर वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वेर अंडर रूट वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस एक्स सिंस वी आर मल्टीप्लाइंग दैट्स वाई वी आर डिवाइडिंग बाय अंडर रूट वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस एक्स सो नाउ सी दिप सो विच इज इक्वल्स टू लॉक कीपिट एज इट इज इन द न्यूमनेटर वी कैन इजीली ऑब्जर्व दैट बोथ द टर्म्स आर एग्जैक्टली सेम सो देयर फॉर देयर प्रोडक्ट विल बी इक्वल्स टू स्क्वेयर ऑफ दैट टर्म इज स्क्वेयर ऑफ अंडर रूट वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस एक्स स्क्वेयर ऑफ दिस टर्म एंड इन द डिनोमिनेटर ऑब्जर्व दैट टर्म्स आर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए माइनस बी इन टू ए प्लस बी एंड वॉट विल बी इट्स प्रोडक्ट इट्स प्रोडक्ट विल बी इक्वल्स टू ए स्क्वेयर माइनस बी स्क्वेयर ए स्क्वेयर मीन स्क्वेयर ऑफ दिस टर्म मीन्स वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस बी स्क्वेयर मीन्स स्क्वेयर ऑफ एक्स विल बी इक्वल्स टू एक्स सो विच इज इक्वल्स टू लॉग ऑफ सी वॉट वी आर गेटिंग इन द न्यूमनेटर सो वी आर नॉट डिस्टर्बिंग टू न्यूमनेटर वन प्लस अंडर रूट वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस एक्स whole bracket square keep it as it is but in the denominator easily we can observe that this plus x square and this minus x square will get cancelled means remaining term in the denominator is 1 now according to laws of logarithm this power 2 can be taken as coefficient so we are taking this power 2 as an coefficient so see what will get here log of under root 1 plus x square plus x now function is in the simplest form this is nothing but value of u we are differentiating it with respect to x so let us see what derivative we are so therefore du upon dx will be equals to two keep it as it is here easily we can observe that this function is in the form of log f of x and what is derivative of log f of x 1 upon f of x what is f of x here under root 1 plus x square plus x into its derivative into its derivative means derivative of under root 1 plus x square plus x so which is equals to so here 2 upon under root 1 plus x square plus x keep it as it is now we are finding differentiation of this term what is derivative of root f of x its derivative is 1 upon 2 root f of x means 1 plus x square into derivative of f of x means derivative of 1 plus x square so this is f of x and then derivative of x will be equals to 1 so which is equals to 2 upon under root 1 plus x square plus x keep it as it is now observe here uh, here keep this first term 1 upon 2 under root 1 plus x square as it is but now derivative of 1 plus x square will be equals to 2x plus 1 keep it as it is now here 2 and 2 will get cancelled this 2 and 2 will get cancelled after cancelling 2 see what we will get here so 1 upon 2 upon under root 1 plus x square plus x keep it as it is keep this term as it is and here we are taking cross multiplication let us see what we will get here x plus this term under root 1 plus x square will get multiplied with this one so here we will get under root 1 plus x square and in the denominator uh, here under root 1 plus x square here nothing is there in the denominator means one is there means here we will get under root 1 plus x square so now check that which terms from numerator and denominator will get cancelled check that this term and this term is exactly same so we'll get cancelled so therefore du upon dx will be equals to 2 upon under root 1 plus x square this is the value of du upon dx now we are finding value of dv upon dx for that purpose we have to consider v here and v will be equals to what is v here cos log x so we are differentiating v also with respect to x so differentiate with respect to x so derivative of v with respect to x is dv upon dx function is in the form of cos f of x so its derivative is minus sin f of x f of x is log x into its derivative means into derivative of log x so which is equal to here keep this minus sin log x as it is minus sin log x as it is and what is derivative of this log x will be equals to 1 by x so which is equals to minus sin log x upon x 
is the value of dv upon dx now value of dv upon dx and du upon dx is known to us both the values are known to us so we are able to find out du upon dv so therefore du upon dv which is nothing but our required value is equals to du upon dx divided by dv upon dx here we are applying the theorem of derivative of parametric function now in the numerator substitute du upon dx which is nothing but 2 upon 2 upon under root 1 plus x square and in the denominator substitute the value of dv upon dx which is nothing but minus sine log x upon x in the denominator we are substituting minus sine log x upon x so which is equal to first write down minus now can I say that this x we are able to write in the numerator so what we will get here yes this x will get shipped in the numerator 2x and in the denominator we have to take the product of these two terms means under root 1 plus x square into sin log x and this is nothing but derivative required derivative now see the example number third in this example we are differentiating tan inverse of under root 1 plus x square minus x upon x minus 1 upon x with respect to cos inverse of under root 1 plus under root 1 plus x square upon 2 under root 1 plus x square so here we are do we are denoting this first function by u and the second function by v now question is to differentiate this first function with respect to this second function means in short we have to denote we have to differentiate u with respect to v means we have to find out value of du upon dv this is our required value question kya tha hamara ki first function ko with respect to second function differentiate karna hai first function ko humne denote kiya u se second function ko denote kiya v se now we have to differentiate this first function u with respect to second function means with v and it will be denoted by du by dv means this is our required value now here we can observe that value of u is also in terms of x and this v is also in terms of x means we can say that x is the parameter so let us try to uh, find out derivative of u with respect to parameter x so first we know that in an expression if 1 plus x square appears at that time our substitution is x is equals to tan theta if we are substituting x is equals to tan theta then it implies that theta is equal to tan inverse of x let us substitute this value so here you will become tan inverse of under root i am replacing x by tan so here we will get tan square theta minus 1 again in the denominator i am replacing x by what tan theta so which is equal to tan inverse keep it as it is according to identity so 1 plus tan square theta will be equals to sec square theta minus 1 keep it as it is in the denominator tan theta as it is so which is equals to tan inverse keep it as it is now square root of sec square will be equal to sec theta simply we can say that square and root will get cancelled divided by tan theta keep it as it is to simplify this expression we are converting it in terms of sine and cos so tan inverse keep it as it is so we know that sec can be written as this sec theta can be written as 1 upon cos theta minus 1 keep it as it is and tan theta can be written as sine theta upon cos theta so which is equals to now i am multiplying to numerator and denominator by cos theta let us see what we'll get if i'm multiplying to first term by cos cos will get cancelled we'll get one minus keep it as it is multiplied to second term by cos so here we'll get cos theta since we are multiplying to numerator that's why multiply to denominator by cos if i'm multiplying to denominator by cos this cos will get cancelled and here we'll get sine theta means this result we have got simply multiplying to numerator and denominator by cos theta now according to half angle formula 1 minus cos theta will be equal to 2 sin square theta by 2 and in the denominator sin theta can be replaced by 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 so which is equals to tan inverse keep it as it is so here 2 and 2 will get cancelled sin theta by 2 and 1 sin theta by 2 from numerator will get cancelled so here we will get sin theta by 2 divided by cos theta by 2 now sin upon cos can be replaced by tan so which is equal to tan inverse of 
tan theta by 2 sin upon cos will be equals to tan. Now, according to property of inverse trigonometric function, tan inverse and tan will get cancelled. So, what is remaining term here? Theta by 2. So, keep this 1 by 2 as it is. Now, I am replacing theta by its value. And what is the value of theta according to our substitution? It will be equal to tan inverse of x. In this way, we have got the value of u in simplest form. So, now we are finding value of v in the simplest form. But if you will observe here value of v, so here in the root 1 plus x square in the denominator also 1 plus x square appears. In such cases, what is our substitution? x is equals to tan theta which implies that theta is equal to tan inverse of x. So, in this case also our substitution is same x is equal to tan theta. Let us see what we will get here. So, under root keep it as it is 1 plus again a root 1 plus x square x means what tan. So, x square means tan square in the denominator 2 under root 1 plus x square x square means what tan square theta. So, which is equals to cos inverse keep it as it is under root also as it is 1 plus. Now, according to identities 1 plus tan square theta can be replaced by sec square theta and in the denominator also 1 plus tan square theta will get replaced by sec square theta. So, which is equal to cos inverse of under root 1 plus. Now, this sec square outside the root will become sec theta in the denominator 2 keep it as it is this sec square outside the root will become sec theta. Now, again simplified better way convert sec in terms of cos. So, which is equal to cos inverse of under root 1 plus. Now, observe here very carefully the sec theta can be written as 1 upon cos theta and in the denominator also this sec theta can be written as 1 upon cos theta is not it. So, which is equal to cos inverse of now I am multiplying to numerator and denominator by cos. Let us see what we will get. Multiply by cos here we will get cos theta. If I am multiplying to second term by cos, so this cos will get cancelled remaining term is 1 and if I am multiplying to denominator by cos theta, so this cos will get cancelled remaining term is 2 into 1 will be 2. So, cos inverse of under root keep it as it is. Now, here value of 1 plus cos theta according to half angle formula will be 2 cos square theta by 2 divided by 2 keep it as it is this 2 and 2 will get cancelled and here what we will get cos inverse. This cos square theta by 2 outside the root will become cos theta by 2. Now, according to property of inverse trigonometric function cos inverse and cos will get eliminate remaining term is theta by 2. So, here this 1 by 2 keep it as it is. Now, I am substituting the value of this theta and according to our substitution theta will be equal to tan inverse of x. This is the value of v. Let us denote this by equation number first and this by equation number second. So, if you will observe the value of u is half tan inverse of x and v is also half tan inverse of x. So, from these two equation from equation first and second can I say that u and v are equal. So, here we can say that u is equals to v, but our aim is to find out du upon dv means we have to differentiate both sides with respect to v. So, differentiate both sides with respect to v. So, observe here derivative of u with respect to v is denoted by du by dv and derivative of v with respect to v is 1 because we know that derivative of x with respect to x is 1 in the same way derivative of v with respect to v will be equals to 1 means in this way we have got our required value du by dv is equals to 1. So, in this way we have completed all the three example from this question. If you think that these videos are very helpful to you, so please like the videos and share these videos with your friends also.